on this week's Cardinal Corner, as the football team prepares for their biggest game of the season, we wanted to take a moment to highlight a special group of Cardinals. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all NCAA athletes were given the option of an extra year of eligibility. For 12 members of the defending national champion football team, who had the chance to stay on campus for a fifth year and defend that title after fearing they may have played their final game without knowing it, they didn't need to think twice. Almost a no-brainer, you know. Um, you know, Entering the real world comes into a factor when making that decision for all of his fifth years. But, uh, uh, you know, winning a natty is not a horrible way to go out, but it'd be tough to leave one year out there still, you know, not give another chance to go back to back. Uh, I was thinking it's a no-brainer. Uh, I felt like we have some unfinished business trying to repeat here, so I want to come here and make that journey possible. For me, I feel like we got the group to do it again. We just got to come out here and just execute every single day. So I'll take it one day at a time. Yeah, it was actually a little tough for me because I had to figure out a few things academically. Uh, I have to do five years anyway, so it was kind of no-brainer in that sense. But just figuring out my class and stuff like that, that was tough. But the football side of it, it was a no-brainer. I want to be with my teammates, be with my guys. I don't want to let them down. While the choice to return to campus and to the team may have been easy, it brought with it significant responsibilities for these super seniors as leaders of the team, with it largely falling to them to ensure the entire squad stayed on track during the almost two-year layoff. Having FaceTime group calls, um, just making sure everybody's going to you know, summer workouts um, was huge, and just keeping in touch with everybody. We just had to make sure everyone stayed focused, everyone stayed in the playbook, stayed with their lifts, stayed with the off-season stuff, make sure nobody got in trouble. We just had to make sure whatever we were able to do, Zoom videos, text, fi uh, fi group FaceTimes, whatever we could do to keep all of us, the all 160 guys together. Uh, I think we played a major impact. Uh, we kept the team together during the pandemic. Got really close with the freshmen and even the freshmen coming in, so we kind of feel like we're a tight-knit group and that's how we like to roll. While the list of accomplishments for this group of seniors during their time at North Central is long, and of course topped by 2019's national championship, there is still one box they haven't checked, beating arch rival Wheaton in the battle for the Little Brass Bell. This whole week is our whole season right now. Everything else will play, on, play along after this week. This is everything for us. Oh, it means everything, you know. I've never, uh, never held the bell, so I'm looking forward to holding it on Saturday. Man, this is all we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, like they were saying, we've never won it before. Uh, we want it so bad, so we're gonna give it all we got. We're gonna leave it all on the field. Their extra year of eligibility grants the opportunity for a final shot at Wheaton, as well as a chance to repeat as champions. But these Cardinals are taking advantage of the bonus time on campus off the field as well, hitting the books just as hard as they hit the sleds and pads. I'm actually getting my master. Uh, with this fifth year, I'm pursuing my uh, master's of business administration. Yeah, I'm doing mechanical engineering in Northern, and I'm, do, I'm doing uh, physics here. This season is different in many ways for these Cardinals. They didn't expect to still be here. They've waited through the longest off season of their lives. They're defending national champions. They've had plenty of time to think about this unique final year and what it means to them personally and to the team. I feel like we feel hungrier. It's something we, we know what we accomplished, but we know what it takes now, and I feel like everybody's buying in and that we're hungrier than ever before to pursue that second one. Uh, it, it's definitely different. This is my, my last first week, so every week I'm looking at it the same way. Um, you know, give every play I got in practice um, like it's my last, because soon it's going to be.